Another new feature of the Matrox Powerwall 2.0 software is the settings. So here I can change the uh, unit of measurement that I'd like to use for my physical view. In this case, I'm using centimeters, but if I wanted to change it to inches, then I could. Uh, I can also change the default monitors. So I showed you earlier uh, how you have the ability to change the monitors at each of the quad to go outputs. Uh, by default, it's set to generic and uh, HD, but if I wanted, if I knew, for example, that I always use the same Lenovo monitors, then I could go ahead and set Lenovo uh, with its associated model as my default. I can change the default prefix name of my design, so every time I create a new design, uh, instead of saying new design, I can have it say, uh, Powerwall is the best. Uh, default expander state. So you can see here that these two menus have been expanded. Um, but when I open the software, by default, they were collapsed. So I can change that so that every time I open the software, rather than be collapsed, it would be expanded. Similarly, I can change the default device name prefix. So here it says new device one, new device zero. I can change it to say uh, quad head to go space, and then it will populate it with a zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth. Enable snapping on wall elements, so that means that any of these outputs, if moved or resized, would snap to other elements, including the monitors or the edge of the content. Uh, left panel, so slide in front of canvas. Here you see that these two menus are expanded, but it's not going over my physical or source view. If I were to click this, then you see that uh, once expanded, these actually go over my uh, my canvas. I tend to prefer them not going in front, um, but it's really up to you what you'd like to, how you'd like to use the software. Um, another new feature is the export uh, specifications. So this will generate a PDF for you that has the physical location of each of the monitors uh, in this configuration. Uh, and that includes the horizontal and vertical center of each monitor and facilitates the installation of the entire video wall.